Okay, I gotta do math again. Give me one second. I, I can I can math this out for you. I'm gonna do the math later and then put the number right here. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, my Ipsy Glam Bag for February has finally come in and I am super excited to get into it. Bruh, if I can get into it. So my bag has a bag, that's funny. They put a bag within a bag, okay, so that's new. Let's see, does the card say anything? Oh, it actually does. The card in here actually says very helpful information. So we're gonna put this off to the side and look at it later. This bag is super freaking adorable. Look at that, and it feels so soft. This texture is really nice, and it goes perfectly with my nails, ooh. I was not planning that, but it also has this really Really pretty charm. I think this bag is absolutely adorable. Your girl did do an add-on, so I'm gonna go through that add-on really quick and then we'll get into my actual Ipsy bag. They put these on sale. Okay, these Wander Beauty eye masks are expensive. Because they were on a really good sale, I got two. I love a good eye mask. I'm very happy to have these baggage claim Wander Beauty eye masks. Each box has two pairs, so I got four pairs in here. So I got four different nights where I can sit and be luxurious with my eye masks. Now let's get into the real bag, okay? What's in this bag? Ooh, the inside is green. I was not expecting that to be green. Me personally, I would prefer it to be pink inside and out because I'm a pink kind of girl. Maybe they have someone that works there in design that's like an AKA or something because this isn't the first time I've seen pink and green. Maybe someone with AKA affiliation is like in charge of this. Reaching into my little bag, the first thing I'm pulling out is by Memoir. Uh, I don't know what that says because it's all like handwritten. Let me read it right here. Memoir Archives. Okay, that's what it says. A body lotion. Wild flowers field. Y'all, I'm so sick of little hand lotions. Okay, I know it says body lotion, but realistically, this little tiny, teeny, tiny tube is going into a purse. I have so many little hand lotions. Let me check and see if it's sealed. It is safety sealed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this off to the side for a potential giveaway. Cute little hand lotion. I think the outside packaging is very adorable, very pretty, but not for me. I have too many hand lotions. Reaching into my little bag. The next thing I'm pulling out is by Ren clean skincare and y'all know I love me some Ren. And this is the Ever Calm Gentle Cleansing Milk. I don't know how that sounds, like cleansing milk. That just doesn't sound right to me. This is what this little container looks like. So how do you get that off? Do you break it off? Like, are you supposed to break this off and use this one time? Bruh. It says it's a creamy cleansing milk with a multi-action formula that softens, soothes, and protects the skin against environmental pollution and aggressors. I, I don't know. I have no idea how to open this. I can't check it to see if it smells good or it stank. This packaging is horrendous. I'm probably gonna just use this one time because I'm gonna have to break off the lid because I don't know. How do you get that off? Like, it's not twisting and it's not pulling and I don't want to break it now because I'm not going to use it right now. Not my favorite. The next thing is Barbie and this is a fragrance. Ooh, I can see it in the light and see how much is in there. I see it like swishling around in there. I highly doubt Barbie smells tasty. I don't know if this is gonna be a tasty scent. When I think of Barbie, I think more floral. I mean, we'll try it. Ugh. It doesn't smell as floral as I thought it would, but it's not really sweet or gourmand, as I would say, or, or as they would say, I think I'm saying that right. It doesn't smell stank. It's not something that I would gravitate towards. Maybe it's a little bit floral and a little bit sweet, like somewhere in the middle. It kind of smells like cough syrup. I don't know, it, it smells like cherry cough syrup. I'll see if Justin likes it. If he likes it, I'll wear it, but if he doesn't like it, then I'm probably gonna like use it for the bathroom, like my other fragrance. My other glam bag came with a fragrance as well. I don't know why they're shoving fragrances in my bags. I don't really particularly ask for fragrances. The last fragrance that they gave me, that sucker went into the bathroom. So when people do their business and it stank, I could just spray that one time and then it'd take the funk away and it just smells like flowers. Me personally, I don't want to smell like that, but I would prefer that smell over, you know, booty smell. That might be where this goes. Cause it smells like cherry cough syrup. This isn't for me. We're gonna use it 
for other purposes, okay? It's gonna be for Breeze for the bathroom. The next thing that I pulled out of my bag, and this was actually my choice, was the Ace Beauté. And I didn't know that was a black owned brand. And this is a hydrating face primer. I was running low on my little face primer. And this was before I ended up with that Grown Alchemist face primer, which I got in a mystery Ipsy. Before I had that, I was running very low on primer. So that's why I chose a primer. But this is how it looks without the little shiny packaging on the outside, the little shiny plastics. Very, very cute and demure. Ooh, I like a little, little squeezy tube like this. Let's see, let's see how she works. Ooh, that's different. Usually the primers I see are more gel-like. Well, maybe the primers that I choose out are more gel-like. Let me rub that in and see. No scent, which is good. And I mean, it feels nice. It doesn't feel sticky. It went into the skin really well. I'm excited to try this primer next time I do my makeup, which will probably be in a few days <laughs> or maybe tomorrow, depending on what comes in the mail, okay? What comes in the mail, that's what will decide whether or not I go ahead and put on some more makeup. And the last thing that I have in here is a cute little uh, bubble wrap. And this is by K Voss and it is the Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter. And it says it has evening primrose oil and artichoke of i don't know why we would want artichoke in our highlighter but maybe it does something and i'm just a plebeian and i don't know let's see what it looks like and it just looks like a standard highlighter i already have a bunch of highlighters that look like this so i'm not gonna swatch this i'm gonna actually go ahead and put this aside for a giveaway i guess the star of the show is my add-on which are these this is the best thing in my whole bag and the bag itself the bag itself is really cute we, we stand the bag but y'all that is everything that was in my ipsy bag. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and go through the value of all these products. This Ace Beauty Hydrating Face Primer, it doesn't say how much the like deluxe mini is worth, but if you wanted to get the full size, which is 30 milliliters, you're looking at $33. And this is 10 milliliters, so... Is that 11? So this is worth $11. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do math. That is an insane price for this itty bitty little thing. That's a lot for very little. The next item is the Ren Clean Skincare Evercomb Gentle Cleansing Milk. And this is a deluxe sample, which is how many ounces? I don't see anything that says how much is in here. However, the full size is 150 milliliters and that is worth $38. Oh, okay, so it says you have to snap off the aluminum tip to get the product flowing. So there, I guess there's no way to actually restore this. So this is a one-time use and they don't tell you how much is in there so you can't really calculate the value. The next item is the K Voss NYC Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter in Star Kiss. Now this one is full size. Okay, so we got a full size item and it is worth $28. So $28 for this itty bitty little thing of highlighter. That is an insane price. Next, we have the Memoir Archives Wildflower Field Lotion. This is a deluxe sample. It is one ounce. The full size is 2.5 ounces and that is worth $25. So, okay, I gotta do math again. Give me one second. I, I can I can math this out for you and tell you how much this is worth. I'm gonna do the math later and then put the number right here. My brain is just not braining right now. This is also insanely priced. I mean, I would pay like $3 for something like this. You know, like how when you're checking out of a store and they have the little compartments there and you can kind of browse through while you're waiting in line and you would see things like this and you just pick it up because it's like $3 and your bag doesn't have a hand cream. So you're just like, oh, let me grab this $3. That's how much this seems like it would be valued at of and last, probably least as well, is this Define Me Fragrance Barbie. And this is full, no, this is, couldn't possibly be full size. This is a deluxe sample. This says 0.17 fluid ounces. The full size is 100 milliliters. Easier if I stick to the same measurements. This is five milliliters. And for 100 milliliters, you're looking at $65. I can't, I'm not doing the math right now. I'm gonna put the number right here of how much this thing is worth. So right there, ding. Not the most exciting bag. Hopefully next month is better. The spoilers seem like they're better. I'm super excited for the 
the boxy charm though. Those spoilers were hitting. I wasn't like, oh my God, I can't wait for my bag to get here. I was just like, eh, it gets here when it gets here. I was more excited about getting this than the eye masks. You can't win every single time. Sometimes you gotta take some L's. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.